welcome back to my channel guys so today i'm going to be doing some fried fish in a creole sauce and for this recipe we're going to start to season our fish so for seasoning i'm using fish seasoning and this is the maggie brand let me show you the packaging and this is what it looks like obviously i cut the top but it's the maggie brand so i'm going to mix my salt and pepper together And next, I'm going to start going in with my fish seasoning. I'm going to flip the fish over and do the same on the other side. Salt and pepper. Seafood seasoning. So rubbing the seasonings on. Now be careful. Also inside. Nicely seasoned inside, in the head as well, because I eat fish head. No shame. Rub this one as well. Season inside. Now, the great thing about fish, apart from the nutrients, is that you don't have to leave it to marinate. So, we can go right ahead with the frying. Now, before we fry this, I am going to give it a light coating of flour. So, in here, I have my flour, just regular flour. I'm going to remove my fish. Just a light coating. I'm gonna dust off the excess. Light coating of flour. Very, very light coating of flour. Place it in the plate. And I'm gonna do the other one and we're going straight over to the stove. And now to the stove for frying. And now we're gonna start going in with our fish. Now when laying your fish, you're gonna put it in away from you. Also going in with my cloves of garlic. A scotch bonnet pepper for flavor. Stock of rosemary. Mm -hmm. See that nice color on there? Beautiful. Okay, so my fish is done for now, and I'm going to remove it from the pan. So I saved some of that oil that the fish fried in because it's infused with the garlic, the hot scotch bonnet pepper, and the rosemary. So it's well infused and the fish flavors. So that's why I saved some of it. Next, we're going to go in with our onions and our garlic.
Let that saute until translucent, and that's about two minutes. So it's been two minutes. I'm gonna go in with my carrots, followed by my pimento peppers, and not forgetting my bell peppers. So I'm gonna cover this for three to five minutes so they can sprout their juices. And then we're gonna continue with the recipe. I'm also going in with some parsley and some side scallion. And also some fresh thyme. Now some people use ketchup, some people use tomato sauce, and some use fresh tomatoes. I'm using ketchup. And I'm also going in with some vegetable stock, some salt and pepper, and the fish seasoning. I'm gonna mix this. So I'm gonna cover it, let it go for a slow simmer, and we'll be right back. Okay, so my sauce, smelling lovely, tasting good. I just tasted for salt. Now I'm going in with my fish. Now I'm gonna flip it over. Because what I don't want is for the skin to get too soggy. Flip this one over. So my fish is all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my content, be sure to subscribe and tune in to my next video. Bye.